Hello there and welcome back. This video is going to be regarding receptor triosine kinases, also known as RTKs. All receptor triosine kinases have a very similar structure. They have a single transmembrane segment, the segment you would see right here. These receptors are present in all multicellular organisms. And these types of receptors are known to play roles in growth using, like they are, they serve the role as growth factor receptors, cell division. A defect in the receptor triosine kinase is known to lead to some form of cancer. The cell survival and death, so they can control apoptosis and the continuation of its life. And they also allow cells to attach to other surfaces within the body and to each other. Now let's talk about how these receptors actually function, how they transmit their signal to the cell, and how they are different to other receptors. Now the thing that is rather peculiar about these types of receptors is that they bind as a dimer. Now what do I mean by this? Well let's say we had a ligand of some sort. There are two ways at which this can occur, I'll show you the first. A ligand here could bind to this one. Another ligand that would be floating around here would bind to this. And the next step would involve both of these things coming together in this form. This is what a dimer is. Now after becoming dimerized, the receptor is going to autophosphorylate itself. Now what I mean by this is it's going to phosphorylate a chemical group called a triosine on its body inside the cell. So down here it's going to be to add a phosphate group. Now this is going to allow things inside the cell to enter this area and become phosphorylated. This is how the signal is sent within the cell. Whatever is going to be inside the cell as a secondary messenger is going to be taking the phosphate from here and moving along with its business, sending the signal to other secondary messengers and having some sort of effect. Now I told you there was another way in which these things, these RTK receptors, could dimerize. The other way is that if we had a cell, we could actually have only one ligand binding to two RTK receptors and causing them to dimerize. It would look something like this. And this would have the same secondary effect at which it would autophosphorylate itself and allow other secondary messengers inside the cell to send along the signal. An example of an RTK receptor, a receptor triosin kinase, would actually be the insulin receptor. So that's food for thought. Thank you for watching this video, by the way. If you'd enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you would like and show your support. And I do hope you're having a very fantastic day.